New artist. <laughs> so, it's so stupid. <laughs> I don't know if you ever watched these videos back, Nathan, but you yell out. <laughs> well, I don't know if anyone heard what you said because all I heard was new, new uh, artist. No, not even artist. I think by the time the artist word <laughs> ended, you're already whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I can't and, time it. It's not like a button that you press. It's a switch. So I as understand. soon as I switch it to siren, it's like, watch, just listen. Switch. And then right. it starts. So it's like you do a good okay. job. And that being said, it isn't that is our new artist <laughs> alert alert. <laughs> Sorry, Del Water Gap. Yeah. So any fans that are fans of Del Water Gap are now watching this channel. What? Yeah, this Shut is great. This is fantastic. Oh my goodness. It's really important, Ethan, when we do a new artist alert that we're on our A game because that means there's my new phone, fans coming. My phone did that. I didn't do anything. <laughs> We got alerts going off. We got the new artist <laughs> alert thing not working very well. Dell Water Gap fans are coming here to watch us. Maybe Dell Water Gap himself is watching us, and this is a gong show. Anyways, you think after uh, all the videos we've done, we'd have this figured out by now? Okay. So this is a Patreon request. This is from Jules. She said, "I want to introduce hey, a new artist to you guys called Dell Water Gap, but his real name is Samuel. I don't know if it's Yaffe or Jaffe. It's J A F F E Yaffe, Jaffe? maybe." He's a solo indie pop artist from Brooklyn. Okay, so he's from Brooklyn. He's on the smaller side. Hey, you know what? We have a lot of artists, actually, that we react to on our channel. Hey, we're a small channel, so it really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. but, but he's getting some traction in the indie slash alternative world. He writes and produces all of his songs. See, that's a true sign of an independent artist. We're like an independent channel, really. Other reaction channels, and there are ones like this, the huge channels that are reaction channels that have their own editors, their own curate their emails, a team. A team. Yeah, but definitely team. Absolutely. The way they're able to pump out edited videos and stuff. Absolutely. So we're an independent reaction channel for sure. <laughs> we handle everything. So anyways, he's like us, Nathan, but he's probably more talented. Jules goes on to say he's become one of uh, her favorite artists. She hopes we enjoy him. She's requesting the song that kind of blew up and, and allowed him to become a little bit more popular. That's awesome. It's called Ode to a Conversation Stuck in Your Throat. Oh, I like that title. That's a very clever title indeed. I wonder, does he sing that part? You know what I mean? Is that a line you can mm. sing? Interesting. Okay, we'll find it. out. Uh, it was released in 2020. It's upbeat and fun and it reminds Jules of summer. Well, in this wintry day of today, being reminded of summer would be fantastic. So here we Is go. Is it snowing in your side? It's like Not right now. It's right sunny. Now. It's sunny right now. It's cold, but sunny. Yeah. It's puking snow. Where I'm oh, right no. Now. Okay. No. Well, this is for you, Nathan. Summer vibes. Here we go. Touching you like I do 
tell me that nobody else touches you like me Hey, my shirt's off. Yay. All right. Well, that is a definitely a fun bopper of a song. I totally agree with Jules. Uh, it has a lot of elements of songs that you and I enjoy. We love a good pop song. It has uh, great vocals. It sounded John Lennon-esque at the bridge. I found out the bridge part. I hit to the, some John Lennon vocal work. I don't know if you caught any of that. Yeah, I definitely like that bass line that came at the end, too. That don't, don't, don't. You really heard the bass uh, part of it. I assume he probably plays most of the instruments. Mm. I, I would assume. Great, fun song. I really, really enjoyed that. Lyric-wise, I actually had the lyrics up. I So I was reading along with the lyrics. Pretty straightforward, obviously, the chorus. I hope nobody's touching you like I do. And we have all felt that way. We've had a relationship, let's say, you break up with your special somebody, or they broke up with you, and you see them with somebody else, and you're like, at the end of the day, this is kind of a weird concept that whatever intimacy you might have had with somebody, somebody else is now having that intimacy with that person. And it's like, they're not touching you the way I did, right? Like the way I kissed you or kissed your neck mm-hmm. or whatever it is. That was my thing, right? That was special. But I hate to break it to you folks. They're probably doing it. And they're doing it better. <laughs> Lyrics themselves aren't necessarily groundbreaking in that sense, but it's definitely relatable mm-hmm. right here. Please just tell me that nobody else touches you like I do. This is the bridge I like. You're in his living room and it may not mean much to you. But your plates are in his sink and your sweater is on his bed. Oh, we've all been there. I get it. Mm. Sucks. This is a very fun song. I wish that I wasn't watching the video. Oh, I was just reading the lyrics. Yeah. And I think that's probably what I should have done is I should have just gone to the lyrics. It was something about the video that was started to turn me off. Musically, I, I enjoyed the music, but I started getting distracted by the video. I started like focusing on that too much. I did like the beat to the song. I liked a lot of things about the song. I just the video was just I don't know why it was just oh no not my not my jam it was a little bit of that like trendiness that is, hey look I'm shooting an eight millimeter and I'm taking my shirt off and I play all the instruments I just felt a little like I don't care about that I want to hear the music I have such ADHD so I started focusing more on that I do enjoy the music I think you're right Jules I think this is going to be a, an artist that we need to hear maybe a few more times I'm curious to know what your opinion of a song that you really enjoyed that because he's a new artist that you're you're really enjoying what's a song that you would like to to show us maybe not necessarily one that everybody else likes yeah all right fair enough we've said it before and i'm sure jules knows this and it goes it goes differently for every artist but either it's like i we rather see a live performance first because it's just the artist whoever they are just raw here i am on stage here's my music here's my song no gimmicks no bells and whistles just perform Mm. or just the lyric video because then we're just focusing on the music and actually because that's for me personally nathan likes videos a little bit more than me i don't necessarily like music videos i don't care about the images i don't care about the storyline and it does distract me too so yeah i was reading the lyrics i wasn't watching the video i wasn't until the very end i saw him whipping his shirt around i was actually to be honest with you i was just reading the lyrics that's why i was moving Mm. my mouth along all right, cool. Well, thanks, Jules. I think that was a good intro to yes, this Yes, strong really intro, important. strong intro. Let's uh, yeah. lyric video next time or live performance is what I would suggest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. excellent. Thanks, everybody, for joining us for this one. And uh, if you want to see us react to another new artist that we've never heard before, well, we got lots of those too. I uh, hope to see you there. See you in the next one.